Hey guys, Brian here. So I'm just getting ready to do a job here on the uh, 1987 300D. And so it's a nice day outside and I'm gonna do the, uh, the sway bar bushings. So let me show those. Okay, so yeah, basically on the sway bar, we got the inner bushings and then there's the outer bushings that are by the uh, control arms. And so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the car up in the air, take those off. I got the pieces here. So I got the uh, the inners, and then I got the outer ones, and this actually came with the car. So I have a feeling that this has been bad for a while. If uh, if you're on the highway, the car starts to uh, kind of definitely sway a little bit, and for sure I need to do the ball joints. So I have those, and I have uh, the bushings for the control arms themselves that I'm going to do, but. For right now, let me just get this up in the air. I'm gonna loosen the lug nuts, the lug bolts, and uh, once they're loose, I'll get this up in the air, put the jack stands on, take the wheels off. Got it up on the jack stands. There's where I always kind of lift by that subframe, right behind the oil pan. It's got those two circles on it, one there, one on the other side, so I go right between there. I got my plywood, and so, I'm not pushing up by the oil pan. Oh yeah, here you can see, <laughs> this will be for later, but the control arm bushings. Yeah, I got some new ones for those. Uh, yep, there's four on each control arm, so I have eight total. Anyways, that's another project. So for now, yep, I just got it up on the, the pads here. Just gonna go ahead and get the wheels off. Well, I'll do this uh, part off camera and then basically where we're going to be looking is here's one of the bushings right there. And there's the other one right there. So those are the two pieces to replace on each side. Uh, basically, once you get this off, I think you can take the whole bar off. So we'll do that. Then when it's time to install the pieces, I got the rubber lubricant. There's the part number. It's a special one for rubber, so it does not eat the rubber. So it's gonna go ahead and get the wheel off on both sides, get this bar off. Okay, got the outer ones done. So yeah, basically you got your piece on there with the bolts. There's kind of like a carriage bolt here that's attached. So uh, you just take the nuts off, they're 13 millimeter, and then that is totally free. So now just got to do the other ones over here. So here's the inners. Now these ones you're going to have to uh, counter hold them. So the bolt on the other side, um, 13 millimeter also. So that's easy enough. And then since I got this one bottom part loose, I got it pretty loose. This will, this will slip right out. I'm not going to actually go and undo the whole top part. Okay, here it is out. So basically it just drops right out. And just looking at them, definitely they don't look good. They're all cracked. Uh, yeah, I don't know if they're supposed to be this loose. I guess we'll see when we go to put it on. This one's better, but uh, it's also cracked pretty bad. Some places. <coughs> Uh, yeah, all right, well, time to go clean it up. All right, and here's the bar all cleaned up. So it's got the brake uh, clean, sprayed it down really good, wiped it, wiped it dry. Uh, it's gonna let it dry a little bit more too. And then here's the bushing. So now that you can actually see them off, they definitely don't look great. Uh, they're pretty, uh, pretty beat up. Yeah, a lot of cracks. Um, yeah, this one especially. This inner one is just toast. It's, uh, yeah, it's ready to go. 
yeah same with this side this side is is just like missing a chunk i don't know what's going on yeah that's definitely pretty cracked the inner one is super misshapen so i'm going to try to capture it on film here let's put this lubricant on there just on the inside put a good amount roll it And then <laughs> this is where I'm gonna have to switch to off camera. You can already tell that's got some, uh, it's gonna need both hands, but okay, it's scooting. Ah, oh, you know what, this is not so bad. If I can do it one-handed like this, two-handed it'll be no problem. So let me get that on there. And perfect, got him on there. So yeah, the center two, those are the hardest ones, but I mean, you saw on camera, I basically got it on one-handed almost, and uh, the rest, pretty easy. I just kind of, set the phone down and did the rest. So the outer ones, these ones are nice. They're actually kind of on there tight enough. So the old ones were definitely super easy to slide off because of just how uh, cracked it got. So, all right, I'll go ahead and put this back on the car. The only thing I was having trouble with is the bottom here. So when you go to put back on the inner one, no problems with the, uh, the outer ones. They fit on just fine. But I was having problems pushing this, you know, like I, I need to thread this. And so uh, I just put the bolt through, got the old channel locks out, and then there you go, you squeeze it, pop it on there, no problem, you're good to go, use, use your other hand. So I'm gonna stop filming. Yeah, this is basically almost done, I just need to torque those down. The other ones are all on there, I uh, just need to, you can see the bolt hanging loose, I need to get that through. But yeah, we're just about done here. Okay, so it's all on there. Everything's torqued down. I got it down to uh, 20 Newton meters was the uh, the torque on that. So, yep, it's on there nice and good. I'm gonna take it off our drive in a little bit, but first I just have a while you're there. So I just replaced this a while back. Um, and uh, yeah, I got a new part for that. And then I have the other side here, which I just never put on. So while I'm here, I'm just gonna put this on. It's just got a couple plastic nuts that secure it in place. You can kind of see where it goes there. But uh, yeah, just keep the car clean. Got it all done, got to put it back together. I got the car lowered and back in the ground. So the only thing to do now is just to torque up the wheels. I'm gonna to torque the, the lugs on the wheels down to uh, 80 foot pounds and then give it a drive. Well, that's it for this video. So everything worked out. I took it for a drive and uh, when you get going 70 or 80, I would feel definitely a lot of sway swaying. It was kind of a lot like that. And then uh, now I just kind of feel some slight jerks. And so I think at this point, if I get the uh, control arms off the front and then do the uh, control arm bushings and I get the ball joints, I think I'll be in really good shape. So I got those parts on hand just need to set aside the time to do that. That's coming up. I also got uh, an update on the head I'm rebuilding. I got a number 20 head for that, uh, the OM603. And so I got uh, most of the parts in. So I have special tools and stuff like that too. So I'll make a video on that coming up soon. But uh, thanks for watching. See you later.